Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this exercise, Bandit Level 1 to Bandit Level 2. I uh, hope you managed to secure shell your way onto this computer and use this with this user. Um, if you did, if you did, you should have a Bandit 1 at Bandit as your um, shell prompt. And you should have this, uh, this sort of welcome message came up first as well. With a nice ASCII out of over the wire. So, right, let's have a read of the level goal. So, the level goal. The password for the next level is stored in a file called dash, which immediately rings sort of some alarm bells, and it looks a bit strange, and located in the home directory. The home directory is fine, because that's just where we arrive when we log in. The commands you may need to solve this level are the ls, cd, that's the, they're the same commands as before and the helpful reading material uh, it looks like this Google search would probably get you the answer pretty quickly uh, so uh, up to you if you want to give it a go or not um, please pause the video and if not I'll uh, carry on talking so to me it seems like it's very very similar to the to the exercise before where we just need to read the output of a file or the contents of a file sorry so let's have a look we can use ls like we did before to display the files in this directory and we have this dashed file that's great that's the one we need to read the out the contents of so i think it's a fair first attempt to use the cat command again as that's what we did before and let's see if it works this time ah so we have this strange if I hit enter again. Ah, so that is peculiar, right? We've got this behavior where when we type and hit enter, it spits out that same thing again. Right, so if we hold control and click Z, that will stop that process uh, and let us come back to a, a sort of a regular command prompt like we, we had before. So okay so using the cat command in that way didn't seem to work and so we need to try and figure out why it didn't work uh, because by knowing how it didn't work you know we, we learned something basically uh, so maybe one place to look would be the, the man page for cat so we go on here and we're just trying to see if when we put dash if anything particular happens um, and I can see it straight away in this description with no file or when file is dash read standard input right so that means we have to talk about standard input so in Linux now I would recommend going and finding a different source of information on this um, because like I say I'm not I'm not a I'm very new to this myself but in Linux we have sort of these streams um, these three different streams we have standard input standard output and standard error and so standard input is your keyboard by default that's the main way that you can input things to the shell um, that's how we put submit our commands um, you know that's that's our sort of first port of call for inputting stuff uh, standard output defaults to outputting the information on the screen that's how we want that's how we want to see it a lot of the time so that's the default um, and then I don't really know about standard error uh, not off the top of my head well standard error sorry of course would be put to the screen as well errors get displayed um, so when we've put this dash it's take it wants to read from standard input so what is happening is the program is waiting for us to put something into the standard input so when we type takes that in as the file and then of course the cat command just displays the contents of that file so it's going to display the contents of what we put in which is why it's repeating um, which is brilliant right that describes what's happening with our input so we now like have a slight understanding of what's going on so how do we circumnavigate this because normally we just put the file name in right well to do that we're going to need to learn about sort of we need to rewrite the path 
of that file so that it knows that it's a file and not us trying to put the standard input. Uh, and how do we do that? Well, we need another way of writing the dash file in this current directory. Now, there just so happens to be um, two directories in each that are in every directory uh, that that signal. Let me re-explain. There's two directories. There's a there's a period or a full stop if you're in Britain like me, um, and a double full stop, and they both have a special meaning. So the the one full stop that means this current directory. So it's a directory that means this current directory. Two full stops is a directory that points to the directory above. So if you imagine the file system in Linux is like a big tree where they have where each each directory has its parent directory with the with the root directory, which is called slash um, is the top topmost directory and all the others sort of are below. Um, so yeah, so basically what I'm trying to say is that we can we can rewrite the cat command using this this full stop notation. We can put the full stop here, which means the cat command of this directory, and then we want to look at a file in this directory, so we put a slash, because at the end of every directory name we put a slash, and then we put a hyphen. Because and this is another way of rewriting cat command of the of the dash file in this current directory. And we hit enter. And see so because we wrote, rewrote it like that, the cat command then knew what we were trying to say and it displayed the outcome that we hoped for, which is the password for the next for the next login. Um, and yeah, so that's that's what we do. We can copy that right click and copy and that's going to be what we use to to log into bandit level 2 now I hope I didn't butcher that too much I hope it makes sense there's going to be lots of things like this where there's random sorts of syntax that means that's going to be interpreted by the shell differently to maybe what we would hope for it to be interpreted as and we have to think of ways to rewrite it such that it gets interpreted in the way that we expect or want uh, Okay, I hope that makes sense. And yeah, brilliant. Okay, I'll let you SSH into the next login. So I'll see you there.